Thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two for part six of our very special series on Medicare and health insurance and all the important stuff you need to know after you pass 50. Um, we've, been, we've been very fortunate to have a, a guest expert and have covered so much ground. Uh, I hope you will get to watch all the videos that we've done already and watch in the future because we've got more yet to come. And uh, Art, thank you, by the way, for introducing us to Aaron Zolrod because what a wonderful resource he's been. Well, I'm going to give a shout out to uh, my good friend, uh, long standing Paul Allen of the Pittsburgh Innovation uh, and Technology Association uh, for having brought uh, Aaron in um, uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, maybe it's close to a month ago. And I was so uh, fascinated with the presentation of understandable information about medical coverage, yeah. which is how all well that started. So anyway, without further ado, uh, we're now on, uh, I think you said episode six, which would be the pros and cons, a deep dive into the pros and cons of Advantage plans. Uh, Aaron, how are you doing? I'm doing great, guys. I'm doing great. We're, 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 we've crossed the halfway point here. Yeah. We did, but Aaron, last time you, you did a great video for us on the pros and cons of supplement plans. And it was just wonderful. I love the fact that you did the pros and the cons. And we, obviously, we need the same kind of treatment for um, Advantage plans. So you're up. Yeah, you know what's, you know, one of the first, I remember getting trained, and I'll forget this saying, is when I was being trained, listen, it's more important to point out the trap doors of health insurance than it is the fun and good stuff, right? That, that, that it's the trap doors sure. that we need to know about, not sure. the fun stuff. And in, 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 with Advantage plans, there's tons of fun stuff that often to get pointed out, but we also need to point out the trap door. Same with supplements. So let's dive right into Advantage plans again. You know, we talked about the differences in general between the two plans, and we talked about that. Remember, Advantage plans are not supplements. They're not the same. They're not designed to pay the portion of the bill, namely the 20% of Part B of medical, uh, outpatient medical, and the $1,600 for a hospitalization that Medicare does not pay. They're not designed to do that. They're designed to pay in place of Medicare to kind of replace your Medicare. When you're when you're choosing an HMO or PPO, and that's what Advantage plans are, um, they're also known as Part C. You're choosing to have Medicare take on a completely different role than what I just talked discussed. Medicare stops paying your 80%. They stop paying for your hospitalization, and instead they pay the insurance company of your choice, an approved insurance company. They pay them about $12,000 a year to take on the burden of providing you with a benefit package and paying all the bills. Okay, paying all the bills minus some cost sharing that comes in the form of co-pays or co-insurance and possibly a deductible, which is kind of rare on Advantage plans. But anyway, so what happens is when you privatize your Medicare, you're going to put your Medicare card in a drawer or where you keep your birth certificate or life insurance policy or passport or wherever other important documentation because you're no longer going to show it. You're going to show your one HMO or PPO card for at the doctor or hospital or, or lab or um, pharmacy. It's a one card for everything. Why Advantage plans are now 50-50. 50% of all Medicare recipients now choose Advantage plans and 50% choose supplements. It used to be a 70-30 split not too long ago. Now it's 50-50. And we're going to talk about first why that is. Why, why has it become so popular? And the number one reason people take Advantage plans is they're inexpensive. Um, I would probably say 50% of all people who have Advantage plans have a zero premium plan. They don't pay for it. Well, how in the heck can I get a zero premium plan? Remember, the company's getting $12,000 from Medicare. Okay. They're making a profit off of that $12,000. They don't need to ask for a premium. They're going to entice people to enroll by number one, offering those low premiums. We don't, in, in, in Western Pennsylvania, we don't recommend anybody ever paying more than $38 for an Advantage plan. It's either zero to 38 bucks. There's no reason to spend more money. So that's the number one great thing about Advantage plans is if I take a $0 premium plan and I can buy a supplement that's $100, 
I'm saving $1,200 a year in premiums over a five-year period. That's $6,000. If I just stay relatively healthy and, you know, go to a doctor a couple times a year, maybe have an urgent care visit or an emergency room visit, or even a hospitalization, I'm going to save a lot of money in premiums. And I'm also going to get a lot of free stuff that supplements don't provide. So the number two reason, or maybe even the number one reason people are taking advantage plans now is the free stuff. And it is valuable. So the plans that are most popular that we recommend who, for people, for clients who want advantage plan, they come with $3,000, up to $3,000 for comprehensive dental benefit. They'll pay 100% for two cleanings and x-rays. Um, they'll pay 80 per, they'll pay 50 to 80 percent for um, fillings, extractions, and periodontal, and they pay 50 percent for crowns, root canals, um, extraction, or excuse me, and partials or dentures even. Three thousand dollars up to three thousand dollars a year. Um, they give you a free eye exam and up to four hundred dollars a year for a pair of glasses. Uh, they provide up to twelve hundred and fifty dollars a year for hearing aids and a free routine hearing exam. They provide um, monopoly money for what we call over-the-counter benefits, which you have a catalog, which has everything in it from chapstick to mosquito repellent, and I'm not lying, where you can call or get online and order all these items, and they deliver them right to your house. Um, they, that, that can be as, as much as a $460 benefit. There are now companies that are offering debit cards that you can use to pay some copays. Um, or a healthy foods card that can literally be used at, at our grocery stores to buy pretty much any food that's in the grocery store other than candy and, and soda pop. Um, and, and so, I mean, I've done the math on this, guys. If you just use your teeth cleaning and if you just got your teeth cleaned and your x-rays, if you went to the gym because they give you free gym memberships, if you went to the gym, if you maxed out your over-the-counter, if you used your copay card, if you max that out, if you maxed out your eyeglasses, um, you are getting about $1,800 in real value of goods and services, okay? That is a lot, lot of money. So those are the two best parts of the Advantage plans, those two things, the, the low premium and, the, and all the extra free stuff. Um, there's no underwriting with Advantage plans. So we talked about how to get to get moved from supplement to supplement or leave an advantage plan to go to a supplement, they ask you questions, medical questions that can deny your acceptance. Advantage plans can't do that. So what we do for our clients is we're paying attention to what plans are best year to year. And then we're going to tell our clients, hey, your plan kind of took a dive. It's not as good as it used to be. But over here, there's a plan that's better. Let's move you to that for next year. And they have to accept you regardless of your, of your health conditions. And then Advantage plans also come with prescription drugs coverage Part D embedded in them for the same cost. So for zero, for 25, for $38, we're getting our medical, we're getting our prescription, and we're getting all those ancillary benefits. So those are the really the four major benefits of Advantage plans. Um, let's talk about the negatives, because again, we talked about it's not all peaches and cream. We want to point out, you know, the trap doors. We have networks, they're HMOs or PPOs. So generally your network is gonna be regional. You're gonna be limited to, in, in Pittsburgh area, we're limited to doctors and hospitals in Western Pennsylvania. From basically the Pennsylvania border to about, to about as far east as say Altoona, which is a couple hours away from us. And that's where you have to get your care from generally. There are a couple exceptions. There are a couple of plans that have a more nationwide network, but generally most of them you're going to be, you know, regional. Um, I want people to understand, do not think a PPO means you can go to any doctor or hospital you want. That's a lie. If you're ever told that by an agent, it's a complete fabrication. Number one, if you want to leave the network for voluntary services, the hospital, the doctor does not have to take your PPO if it's voluntary. I know for a fact the Mayo Clinic does not take out-of-state PPOs, period, end of story. Number two, what's not explained is when you have a PPO and you leave the network, you go from having a small copay to having a huge copay. So what might cost you, a hospitalization might cost you $250 at home, probably could cost you $11,000 or more out of the network. Um, so, so be careful with the PPO. So number one is a network. Networks tend to be pretty good regionally, especially um, on these things. Um, but 
the, the, the HMO or PPO means it's something else. The insurance companies, advantage plans kind of call the shots. They can deny you have to get prior authorizations for MRIs, CAT scans, surgeries, home health care, skilled nursing, and a few other services. They have to be prior authorized. You cannot receive those services until the insurance company gives the provider a green light. It doesn't happen often, but there definitely are times, and I, we talk to clients all the time who've gone through this and other people, where they may say, we're not going to let you get that MRI until you have physical therapy or massage therapy or injection therapy. The same can go with a surgical procedure. We've had clients who've come in who've been upset because usually it's their it's the kids where their dad was in the hospital and um, a nurse came in or somebody from the hospital came in and said, your insurance company called and said they're not going to pay for any more additional days in the hospital. The doctor would like you to stay, but unfortunately, the insurance company is not going to pay for that. Um, you know, and people, you know, don't want to deal with that. So that can happen. Premiums can rise on Advantage plans. They haven't um, in the past few years, and that's because they've been getting funded more money. In other words, I said they're getting $12,000. A few years ago, it was only $10,000. Now they're getting more money. So they're able to offer. That's why you're seeing more of these benefits is because they're getting more money. And the, the regulation states that for every dollar that Medicare Advantage collects in premium, be that from the government or from the member, they have to pay out 85 cents in, in benefit. They literally had to make up this over the counter. They literally had to give these debit cards. They literally had to increase the, the benefits for dental because they wouldn't meet the 85 cent criteria. And if they don't spend it, they got to give it back. And so that's why you've seen all these extra benefits. And that's why you've seen premiums um, not go up. My concern is, and we're going to talk about this in the next couple, in the next episode, is that Medicare is broke. Okay. And, and I am fearful, and there, it's in the news right now that they're already starting to talk about cutting payments to Medicare Advantage plans back. If they revert back to the old $10,000 a year from $12,000, you're going to see our benefits change. They're not locked in. So from year to year, we could we could see the dental division, the gym, you know, all these extra stuff. You could see them be reduced or go away completely. You could also see premiums go up or copays go up. We're in the golden age of advantage plans right now. They've never been better. I've been doing this 15 years. They've never been better in the fact of low costs, the combination of low costs, low copays, and extra and extra benefits, the free stuff. Never been better. My fear is if we cut these companies back, and I don't know that we're going to have a choice at some point, that we're going to look at these things and go, man, in three to five years ago, man, what happened to my wonderful plan that was free and got me all this dental and, and you know, I was only 200 bucks if I needed an MRI and, or, you know, only 250 if I went to the hospital. And now if I go to the hospital, it's 1250 instead of 250. And that's my concern because, again, they can change benefits year to year. They are not locked in. All right. Uh, the fourth negative is we are exposed to thousands of dollars if we need, uh, with certain plans, a, a, a five or six day hospitalization, if we need chemo or radiation, if we need a lengthy skilled nursing stay, if we need infusion or injection therapy, which are becoming more and more common, Remicade, um, uh, Prolia, um, you know, those are becoming much more prevalent. Uh, if you need a prosthetic device, which is you know pretty rare, those can be in the thousands of dollars, okay, up to what's called your maximum out of pocket, which can be as much as eighty three hundred dollars on Medicare plans now. So that's the other one. And the and the biggest risk of Advantage plans and the biggest negative, maybe other than the fact that the the insurance companies can kind of call the shots, is that in forty two states, if you go into an Advantage plan. There is a probability that you may never get back to a supplement because, again, supplements are medically underwritten. So we have people who have are going along. Everybody loves Advantage plans when they're relatively healthy. Everybody loves them, right? They're cheap. There's, you know, there's no copay at your primary doctor. You know, it's only $35 to the specialist. We're getting all our dental, our vision until they get sick and get thousands of dollars in bills or until they have to fight with the insurance company to get the care they need. Then they call me and want to go back 
and I say, and I have to ask a series of medical questions and we get to the point that where we say, you know, do you have heart disease? Do you have insulin dependent diabetes? Do you have AFib? Do you have an autoimmune disorder? Um, have you, do you, have you had lymphoma or, melan or myeloma? Um, and if, and if they've ever had it in their life, there's not a supplement company in the world that'll take them back. And so that to me is the biggest risk is, you know, you know, and I hear it all the time. Oh, I'm healthy. I don't need, I don't need a supplement. Listen, I've been doing this 15 years. I can tell you story after story after story of somebody that was perfect, the most, the healthiest 65 year old you ever want to meet. And I run to them nine months later at the grocery store at a restaurant and they stop me and say, Aaron, I want to thank you for getting me that supplement. Since I met you, I've had this surgery and this dialysis and this diagnosis and this chemo and this radiation. And I don't know where I'd be without the, the insurance you, you got me. And so, you know, again, that's, that's to me is one of the biggest risk of advantage plans. They sound great on paper. They are great if you remain relatively healthy. They provide tremendous value. But again, there are some risks. Mm. What a great what a explanation. Great um, I, I, I can see why the, uh, the advantage plans are so popular because it looks so great on paper, as you say, but I, I love the fact that you compare it to the supplement plan. And the, the most important thing is that it ain't easy to get from one to the other or no. more no. accurately. It's not easy to go back to the supplement plan. Correct. Right? Yeah, correct. That's important information for everybody. Oh, it is one, one quick question for you, uh, Aaron. Mm -hmm. um, in the um, states, and I think you said California is one, maybe New York is another. In the states that can't deny you getting onto the supplement in the first place, <clears throat> can you go back in that state during open enrollment? Yes. Okay. You can so switch back and forth between. Yep, you can go back and forth between Advantage Plan and supplement. I got to be honest with you. If I was a broker in those states. I probably wouldn't, I would sell much more advantage plants than I would supplements because I would just tell people, listen, if you get sick, guys, we'll go back to a supplement next year. Sure. Yeah. The, yes, we might get caught one year where you paid, you know, 6,700 out of pocket for your advantage plan because you've had cancer, but we saved 10 grand in premiums the last five years. Right. And yeah. you picked up another $10,000 in extra benefit. So we're still, we'll just flip you back over. Um, if Pennsylvania was like that, I, I, we'd sell very few supplements, um, yeah. you know, but the reason um, why that, that, that exists, guys, is states where you can do that supplements are far more expensive because they have a, un, they have a less healthier pool of business. So yeah. most of the people that are taking supplements are sick. And so they're more expensive because the companies are paying out more in, in, in sure. claims than, than they are in states where, where there's underwriting. Well, we, we all have to remember there is no free lunch, you know. No free. I agree. I hate the word yeah. free. Right. Even if, you mean, but if you get that, that uh, uh, debit card with your Advantage plan, you can get a lunch. That, that's Just, actually you, you can get a lunch and you'd be surprised. You can literally go in and get a sandwich. Right. But you'll pay for it. You'll pay for it when you have that brain surgery. So don't that's have it true. before the, the brain surgery. Have it after what you feel better. That's right. That's a good point, Art. Good job. Um, I like that. Aaron, uh, before we go, uh, I want to do two things. Uh, number one, I want to tease what we're going to talk about next, because uh, we're going to we, this whole series of videos are wonderful. You're doing a really deep dive into information that is so important for us on such an important topic. But the other thing I wanted to do was kind of caution people that even though we're doing multiple videos here and you're going into great detail, this is such a complicated subject that they really need to get advice I'm so uh, glad from an expert like that. you, a broker so that, that knows John. all this stuff. We I say that cannot all the time, rely like, even on yeah. these a dozen no. videos that we're going to do. It's this not, not a sub, This is not a substitution for a consultation. Right. I do want to say that, you know, we don't charge for consultations. There are no cost. Um, there's never a cost for a consultation. Um, if you get an insurance plan through us or directly through an, the company, they're the same price. Um, but this is not a substitution for a sit down. We are we, we are still not diving into e each person's individual needs. Do they travel? Do they have are they a veteran? Um, you know, income. Uh, 
medical needs, prescription drugs that are being taken, pre-existing conditions, those sure. are all play a factor. I We ask a ton of questions when we meet somebody for the first time. We don't yeah. just give out information. We're asking a ton of questions. We're listening. And, and that's what is going to help us, you know, say, listen, I've had people that I've told John, I won't let you take an advantage plan. If you want one, you're not going to buy it from me. You can go down the road and buy it, but I'm not going to be the one that sentences you to a life in advantage plans with thousands of dollars out of your pocket. So I yeah. either insist you take a supplement or you're going to go buy it from somebody else. Um, you know, and, and I've met tons of people that didn't, didn't, that didn't get that advice that had these medical conditions that they should have never, ever taken an advantage plan, but they just didn't get the right advice. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So what's, what's next? What can we look forward to? We've already done six videos, we're gonna, great so, stuff, but there's so much more to talk about. We're going to talk about one of the most common questions I get from people who take supplements or who buy individual health insurance plans from the marketplace, retire early. What do I do about dental and vision and hearing? And that's what we're going to talk about. That's what we're going to talk about next. Great. Good. Thank you. Looking forward to it. Me too. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.